All right, so we're back in a place where we haven't been in a while, the Porsche dealership. We have this really beautiful Porsche 911 Carrera GTS. It's really beautiful, blue color, baby blue color. I'm just gonna have a look at the studs over here for you guys. So custom color, GTS interior package, and uh, 20 and 21 inch Turbo S wheels. So this car goes 193 miles per top speed, 480 PS power, zero to six in 3.4 seconds. That's actually really good. And 570 newton meters of torque. Wow, such an amazing car. Always love Porsche. They never disappoint with their cars, and their cars are so good. And I love the one thing about I love about this Carrera is the way the front starts. The front is very wide, but if you see how this part of the front goes out, it's actually really good looking. So I have to keep my voice down a little bit because there's some other customers here and that kind of stuff. But yeah, and I really love the Porsche rear end. It's absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna move my phone. And yeah, okay, let's hop inside. We can open the door. Alright, we open the door like that. The one thing I really like is that poor sound that comes down. All of this Alcantara interior, the buttons, and the Alcantara seats with the GTS badge on it. These seats actually look very good. Porsches are always very comfortable cars as well. Okay, so this is actually the first car I sit in for this day. I didn't manage to see in Ferrari or anything like that, but yeah. Wow, such an amazing car. And the way you sit inside, so this is very Formula One-like seat. So you know, when you see in the Ferrari, your legs are usually more straight, and the seat isn't that far back. So this part is higher than what this part is at the back. And if you know in Formula One, you do sort of sit very upwards. This sort of reminds me really of a Formula One seat, rather than like other sport cars. Like Ferrari doesn't have this sort of seating. If you see the way my knees go, they're sort of bent in. But yeah, this car does feel very good when you sit inside. Obviously got leather up here with the white stitching and this uh, glove box with the Alcantara or dash, sorry, central dash thing and then your glove box here which is with Alcantara and it has the Porsche sign over here. I haven't been in Porsche in a while and definitely feels like a while and obviously you got a sunroof. This car has a really cool sunroof and Oh, so the seats at the back that I will try to fit in for you guys just to show you what it looks like. And wow, look at this interior. I like how it says like the mass per hour there, which is electric, and then obviously your rev limiter is just like a normal rev limiter. And it goes up to seven and a half thousand RPMs. Such a beautiful car, and it's only done 15.7 miles. Carrera GTS. Such a beautiful car. Wow. I'm a I actually show you guys the amount of storage again, but these cars are so practical as like supercar wise. You get so much space in the boot and just open a door right back here. Just open up the trunk the frunk, as we call it. Hello. It's Evil Automotive with me. Uh there's gonna be a link down below for his channel. Cheers. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having trouble in getting out. <laughs> there we go, that wasn't that hard. I just realized this car has this really cool carbon brakes with the central lock tires and these amazing yellow calipers do you really fit with this paint? Wow, absolutely amazing car. And obviously this is your frunk with the Porsche sign there and if you just open it like that. Wow, look at how much space you get in the front. In the front you get so much space, it's absolutely amazing. And obviously your headlights and that kind of stuff. I need, oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Okay, close it. Okay. No, I was just trying to get colourful. Yeah, so this car is carbon fibre, but it's also aluminium. Most like you see the hoods, aluminium. I don't want just, to close it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, I close it. Yeah. Last time when we did that in Ferrari, but it was at the back. Oh no, it was the front hood. So we opened the hood in Ferrari and we couldn't close it after. It was an FH Buto. But that wasn't me. <laughs> Right, we're gonna move the, the seat forwards. Yes, I know, I'm singing to myself. Don't judge me in the comments, please. But yeah. Uh, right. It's a very weird sequence where we move you forwards and we show you guys the back seats. There we go. Now we can go in the back. This doesn't look very pretty at all.
Oh dear. Okay, so overall like this, you get a bit, a bit of space and no headroom. Um, right. So if your driver is four foot five, you'll be able to fit in the back. Or if you fit a kid or a dog in the back, you'll be able to fit. But headroom, I'm like five seven. I'm like five seven, five eight. And I can't fit, and that's a 4A8 over there, outside. So, if I'm, if I'm 4, if I'm 5'7, uh, 5'8, five, 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 and I can barely fit inside, yeah. I mean, I guess you can fit a 5'8 person inside, but barely. Maybe in that city, if no one, if like someone really short is sitting there, you could probably fit a person in here. Or a dog or a small child, you can, you can fit something in there, but it's good to have this bit of space. Right, and obviously, you do get storage back here as well if you want to store something. This area is actually more used for storage rather than making people sit in it, but you know, I'm just sitting back here and people just give me the weirdest looks ever. Right, um, here we have this really cool Cayman GTS 4.0 Fat 6. Right next, this beautiful Boxster Yellow. Both cars are the exact same color, which is really cool. I've seen that um, 718 box before, but I'm gonna film it for you guys. First, I'm gonna film this Cayman because I haven't seen it before and it's so cool looking. So obviously, this is the back of it. 4.0 is right in the middle there. And that looks amazing. So it's rear wheel drive, 4.0, and we just pull the door open. Came in GTS. So this car is sort of like the mid version between the um, 911 and the Boxster. So it's like a mid series. And it actually feels really good inside here. So it's way more different than what you get in a Carrera. In a Carrera, you sit way lower down. Seats are way lower down. And obviously the seat is so much different, but yeah, you got also Alcantara everywhere, leather, leather steering wheel with this really cool flappy paddles. And this amazing central uh, center console. It's absolutely amazing, obviously, with your exhaust buttons yeah. swing up and down and you all go, I've got no battery on my phone. Okay. Okay, uh, there, suspension and all of this amazing centric console. Obviously the clock in the middle and that carbon fiber here. I always love those cup holders. So smart, the way they thought of it. Wow. Oh, dear, close. We're having a Ferrari problem again. <laughs> and that thing is so good. So yeah, this is more like a practical 944, like cheaper 944. I'm trying to put it, I don't know why I pulled it twice, but yeah. Look at that yellow car, that looks so good. Overall, this car does look really cool, and then obviously that track, the other sprocket over there. Let me just open the front and the back for you guys, just so I can show you. And look at that. Okay, let me just show you the front real quick. You get lots and lots of space, like very deep. More space in the Carrera, 100%. So it's very deep coming down. And if we just close this, really easy to close rather than the Ferrari ones. Ferrari ones are really hard to close. That's why one other thing to love, Porsche. And then obviously you've got the space in the back. Since this is a mid-engine, your 4.0 flat six is right here. Then here you can use it for storage. Pretty smart, right? Close that. Okay, cool, I'll close it. Cool, yeah, such a cool car. And those rims with the black calipers are really good as well. And then right next to it, here we have this 718 Boxster 2021. Such a cool car, and the same yellow as that car as well. Let me just see what kind of yellow that is. Um, to the exterior color, racing yellow. So these two cars are both in a racing yellow color. Really cool. So this is again mid-engine. I think it's a smaller engine though. I think it's like a 3.0, 3.8. In like, uh, flat six, but let's just hop inside. So this is like the the cheapest option of, of a Porsche game, almost like Ferrari. Um, but yeah, so you got obviously leather seats. No Alcantara in this one, sadly, but it's all leather. And as soon as you don't have to. Yes. Uh, and uh, really cool dashboard. Obviously, this is your central console. And this really cool uh, thing there, central console in there, and your glove box, amazing. Got all the other buttons you have in the normal Porsche, and then, yeah, absolutely amazing car. Right, well, 
I think this is gonna do it for today, guys. And yeah, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Consider the like and subscribe button, and I will you see you guys. Episode? Actually, sorry, we're not ending yet. Nope. <laughs> we're not ending yet because I forgot to show you guys the space. You get a massive rear boot here. That is a lot of room. Yeah, where you can like store stuff. You got a the uh, spoiler that goes out, and this really cool and really deep front that goes all the way down. Such a cool car, and obviously those black rims with the matte black calipers are really good as well. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I will see you guys another time. Consider that like and subscribe button. I'm not sure what I'm doing with my hands right now. I'm pretty tired, but yeah, consider like and subscribe button, and yeah, I'll see you guys another time, and. Go crush live and have a great rest of your day.